Okay, here's my first attempt at a solar heater, and I used 121 cans, a glass from a sliding glass door, and two by fours, and some insulation. And I can tell you a little bit about it. Uh, the back that I use is just a sheet of plywood, which is roughly about $10. Uh, all the screws that I used, I just had laying around, so those were free. The glass that I used was, as I said, from a sliding glass door that I got for free from a window repairman who was just going to throw it away anyway. Uh, apparently, they throw glass away constantly, so you can get some uh, free glass that way. All the cans that I used on the solar heater came from a coworker named Lois. Thank you again, Lois, for all your cans. And the two by fours that I used, I basically used three, and those are roughly about seven dollars and thirty cents, somewhere in that range. The paint that I used was a high heat Rust-Oleum paint, obviously black, and that ran about seven dollars. You can get that at you know Walmart or wherever. I've seen it quite a few places. Uh, the insulation I used for the sheet was about ten dollars. I had quite a bit left over. And for the for that end and that end, you can see a solid sheet that's aluminum. And for a whole roll, it was like seven or eight dollars. And I just had a ton of that left over for if I ever want to make any more. And the other thing that I had to spend money on was the caulk to glue the cans together, which I've actually seen a video where you actually don't need to caulk them anymore. You just use a third can, cut the top off completely, the bottom off completely, stick it under hot water, heat it up, and insert the two cans inside there. Um, so you can even save money there. And let me show you the back of it. Okay, here's the back. And I basically have uh, two dryer vents running into the crawl space. I don't know if you can quite see the other one. Yeah, there's the other one. And right now I just have one fan inside one of them which is the intake so the long tube is actually pulling the air in and then the short one is actually blowing it into the uh, crawl space there and I do want to add another fan the fans seem to work really good they're I think I spent maybe seven dollars and fifty cents or like eight fifty under ten dollars anyway and the fan actually fit right inside the uh, dryer vent. It was a, a DC car fan made to plug in and stick on your dash or whatever. But it worked out great. So and I will add another one. So hopefully I can get more of a flow. And let's see how hot this is right now. Okay, right now outside I believe it is probably like 43 degrees. And let's see if we can get this to show up. It's 127.2 degrees, and it's actually kind of low. Normally, I've seen it anywhere from 140 to 150 degrees usually during day, so I'm actually surprised it's only 127. And I can show you how I have the fan hooked up real quick. Okay, off of my solar regulator, I don't know if you can tell or not, but there's a has a symbol of a light bulb on there. That's the load. Anyway, what I did was I rigged up a cigarette lighter, and since this was a 12-volt fan, I just plugged it into that, and I had to splice into it because the cord was only, I don't know, maybe two feet. I have actually quite a distance to run, so I just spliced in and extended it. Anyway, um, and I always tell it's running because it's, for some reason it's got a blue light on it, I guess, to be fancy for your dash. And that just runs the fan and kicks it right into the house. All right. Or the crawl space or your garage or wherever you want it. But, okay. Thank you. God bless.